Okay, so here's the Max Control app. It tells me the machines are available. Now I get the remote control. And I'm going to turn on the power. You hear it beep? And the horn should honk. So the horn honks. And then it starts up. You'll see. Indeed, there is nobody in there. And. see if I can get both in view at the same time. Okay, I don't know whether I should film at the same time as I'm there time. Let's see if we can turn it. Or actually, you know what, we gotta put the bucket up a little. Let's turn it a little to one side. So this is all, all on remote. This was a little scary. There's this little button here. It's hard to get in focus. But it's like a little bucket hitting the ground. So let's see. Should we try that? So that puts the bucket right on the ground. We lift up the bucket. Then we can put the bucket on the ground. Maybe that just kind of releases the hydraulics? Not entirely sure. And, uh, you know, you can also, like, Honk the horn, that's really annoying. Uh, and you can, for instance, change the idle. Hopefully. No. Oh, yeah. There we go. As you can see, the RPMs reflected in the app. And let's shut it down. Oh, should we try the e-stop just to see whether the e-stop works? That's always a good good thing to know. Yeah, if the thing is dragging me under, will the e-stop work? Oh yeah. Good deal. Let's see. Do I have to twist it to reset it? Oh! And... It told me, it kicked me out of the app. Look at that. All right, so that's it for the testing of the uh, remote control for the Bobcat. Next steps, we'll discuss.